Hi, and welcome to TFLP Microcasters. Uh, I'm here with the usual cast. We do not have a fourth tonight. No one wanted to volunteer. Um, oh, can you mute that? Yeah, Rob's um, gone now. Yeah, Rob's, Rob's gone we, now. Apparently he we, did not we want to. We took care of him. Um, can you mute the show? Working on it. It's tricky. I think I got it's really it. not. Yeah, I know. It almost feels weird that Rob's not on the show, right? No. Can, work. can you mute the show, please? I'm working on it. Can't you just click the mute button? It's not working very well. No. Oh. Well. <sighs> Jeez. Every time I try to press a thing, it does uh, it does stuff. Is your it's... is your fourth camera on right now? There's just nothing there. <laughs> that that's right. It, unless you want to have the three strips that go the vertical strips, would you prefer that? Because I can go ahead and take off that my fourth camera. Oh, that's okay. It's just strange to see the the absence of things. It's fun. I mean. I can, I can put my only dots and mold that I still have left, except for it's way, I have the camera positioned like on the background or whatever, so anyway, nevertheless, uh, Anna, what are we doing tonight? This is your show. Tonight, we're talking about a Transformer toy, and that Transformer toy is this one. I am pointing to MP19 Plus Smokescreen, a recently released Masterpiece figure in the Transformers Masterpiece line. Why, why are you talking all weird? Why, why are you know. talking like a robot? Because I'm trying. Like, Gosh, I'm trying, trying to, to be as that. monotone as possible. <laughs> That's easy for me. Hi. So this is the one we're focusing on. You'll notice that I have three different um, Prowl-ish body figures up here today. Two are the same mold, and one is the um, Custom Robots mold, because that's the only Silver Streak I have, and he's my Silver Streak, so here he is. I mean, okay, awful. Can you even count now. that as, as a version? Because he doesn't transform. So yeah, I would I cool. would argue... That's how you count him. What? You count things because they're good. <laughs> okay, so Ron says them. this is that this is the third most used MP mold. Is that is that yes, true? Like, I were the Seekers no used more? Because I'm assuming MP10 is probably number one. It has to be with all mm -hmm. the rebates, right? Yeah, probably. And then the Seekers and I don't know if it's the Seekers. Is it the Lambo mold? No. No. The, the Lambo mold wasn't used that much, honestly. Sideswipe, sideswipe, clamp down. G2 sideswipe. Red alert, red alert. I don't know. Yeah, I guess we'll have to look it up. But, but yeah, so Anna was like, you know what we should do on the show? Is we should review a figure that came out. Let's see. I think it was about the same time my son was born. Like, it's older than my my eight-year-old, who's about ready to turn nine. And so I, I think that this mold <laughs> is, is like 10 years old. And uh, Anna apparently There's is no doing a, 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 fr a fragility test. Let yeah, me see how, that's, that's how you're you doing your, your toy paint. testing. There's no way the original of this came out in 2010. That doesn't I, sound right. I know for a fact because I I actually ordered it like when um, my kid was being um, like I don't know I think it, like my kid was being born and I ordered my first Dotson mold. I don't know I was like in the hospital and for some reason I just was like sitting there going screw it I'm gonna go ahead and get this for myself. I think Sideswipe came out to 2012 though he was first so 
Well, sure maybe, maybe it like, was maybe it was my second. Here, hold on. One. We if only we had a, a resource to you look guys at are up. getting distracted. We could be talking about smoke screen. What do you mean? We're not getting. Uh, this is well, we on were, topic right here. This is the smoke screen we were talking about. I've got the original up here, and you got yeah. a plus. Plus, yeah. supposed oh. to be more the show accurate. has been used heavily, right? Because it's been the three guys that it usually is. It's been Prowl and Smokescreen and whatever streak. And that's good. You know, it's been all three of them. So um, they came out at the end of 2013, Christian. Yeah, see, that makes way more sense than your so... nonsense earlier. It's 2020. Okay. So was it my second kid? Maybe it was my second kid. Must have been my second kid. Do you even have kids? What? <laughs> you're, not re- you're not reliable at this point. We don't know. Yeah. Well, he looks confused now, so. <laughs> yeah. That's a little worrisome. I've met the kids that he claims. It's interesting. <laughs> So have I. I know. Hmm. The plot is twisting. Suspicious. And Smokescreen is here, so let's talk about him. So basically, yes, they released all three of the guys that he that this mold should be, and then they waited years and then started putting out plus versions of them. And as far as MP goes, plus means cartoon colors, right? Yeah. yeah. No, it depends on the um, on the character because Megatron they ended up uh, Doing the toy version That's of him true. as the plus version. So there, there's a couple, yeah. yeah so plus like means that. different. So plus how crazy would it different. have been that the fact that they released this mold like one after another, like it was like September, October, and December. Can you imagine that happening today? I mean, that just no, nuts. absolutely not. Oh, absolutely. What a time. No, I cannot imagine that. So, this guy, pretty recently released, right? Like, I got mine through Pulse. Took a, took a long time to come out. You get several delays, which is interesting, considering, you know, it's a pre-existing mold that just got some new paint. But given the new you know, the environment and everything, who knows um, exactly how that all happened. But um, he's here now. So... There's been a thing that we've talked about a lot of microcasters, and that being that, you know, these two, my friends here, Christian and Lucas, both used to collect MP, and they both quit collecting MP. And I used to collect only MP, and instead of quitting MP, I expanded to whatever else, which is probably way worse than quitting MP, but... It kind of used to be like, you know, the ultimate part of all of our collections. And I think for all three of us, it's kind of fallen out of favor for similar reasons. And I think it has to do with exactly why this is probably one of my favorite MP molds that there is. And that's that it's it's accurate. It's relatively easy to transform. Lucas was telling me, oh, well, it's easy. Transform it on camera earlier. You so I've done it relatively easy. Relatively easy to choose. I'm not going to break it on camera, even though I did tell someone I was going to break it. How are you going to break it? There is. Man, I, I really want to see. Old can be broken. Break. Hey, I, I broke my knockoff sideswipe, so, you know, that's a kind of similar figure. Entirely different mold. Knockoff plastic <laughs> instead of. Um, serious plastic? Did you break it in the feet? Word? Huh? What did you break doors? it in the feet? Oh, broke off. The one of his doors. Yeah, I know. And stuff. He carries it in his hand now as a, as a broken part. I, anyway, I, regardless, yeah. this mold is definitely one of my favorite, like, actual masterpiece molds. And it still is. And it's interesting because you have these guys like Rob and everybody who's still really into MP, you know, grabbing their MP44s and being all, this is perfect. This is so complex. This is so accurate. It's so great. And then you have the three of us going, oh, my God, that looks fragile. That's difficult to transform. That doesn't look like an enjoyable thing to just play with. And the paint looks like a giant liability. And this is a callback to, you know, back in the day when MP figures were, you know, nice looking, but still Transformers toys that are not super terrifying to transform. So it's nice to have them. It's nice to be back to this, to me, for a minute. Um, 
we can, you know, we can't really show you the car mode right now because neither of us put ours in car mode. Christian has the not plus and I have the plus. Um, but I do have the box, which, of course, this box was inside of a box, just in case you doubted it. This box was in this box. I hate quit doing that. That's so annoying. It's silly. So this gives you an idea of the car mode. And what these to today on Microcasters, we're now reviewing boxes. Oh, stop it. This is all I got. I don't want to turn into a car right now. So you guys have told me that the car is relatively accurate. Is that right? Yes. It's an accurate car? That's good. Pretty accurate car. And it, it, it's a good car toy. Like, if you're into that, it's a good car toy. I thought that the um, that the smoke cloud was going to actually attach to the um, to the car mode, like to an exhaust pipe or something. But best I can tell, it doesn't. It just kind of sits there, what? which is fine. Yeah, there's like it's it doesn't That's really look super character. lame. Yeah, it's a. Uh, we'll talk about the cloud a lot because that's the major reason to buy this figure is the cloud. Um, but the car itself, you know, it looks really good. The big difference is that all the like deco decos and words and stuff that were on Christian's version are gone, right? Because there's like a little bit of writing on them in places. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, on the doors. Not a ton. And... Not a ton, but enough. Yeah, that stuff's gone because it wouldn't be cartoon accurate if it was there. And it, you know, it works fine for what it is. I think the door's open. I think it gets that far when it's in car mode. It has a decent looking interior, a much better looking interior than some of the stuff we've had recently. So it's nice. <sighs> yeah, I really don't have a lot to say about the car mode. Do you guys? It looks pretty. With, with the paint, it really looks like it's supposed to. That's one of the biggest criticisms I had of the non-plus, is that the colors aren't quite right. They're a really great compromise between cartoon and toy, which is what MP used to be. But if you want something that's really super cartoon accurate, it's not going to be this one. That one looks like it's the right colors and everything. And when it's in car mode, this thing is covered in paint. Like, it's pretty much paint head to toe. Like, there's pretty much no spots on this thing that does not have paint when it's in car mode. When it's in robot mode, it has a few paintless spots. But that means that, of course, when you get it, it's already going to have a few paint defects on it, probably. And that, you know, just handling it is a little bit risky for your paint. I was trying to find the paint defect that jumped out to me the day I opened it, but I don't I don't see it right now. It isn't jumping out to me as much. But there was one I just a little splotch. It isn't bad. I kind of feel like with Masterpiece, you just have to, like, be good with the fact that there's going to be some small paint blemishes and Thank shits you. and whatnot. I mean, paint has plagued the line from the first figure. Sideswipe, they had issues with the first run of Sideswipe, so. Yeah. Yeah, no, I totally agree. It's just, um, like, with it being entirely covered in paint, and with that being the reason why this figure is, you know, quote-unquote better than the original it, it has its risk. You know, you're going to have blotches, you're going to scratch it, and if you, like, I literally, I've transformed this figure plenty of times. I used to own a, um, I used to own a knockoff of the Silver Streak, and I would transform that thing all the time for funsies, because I didn't want to hurt my prowl, so I just transformed the knockoff that I had instead. And, um, I, I transformed this one with the instructions still. Even though I definitely know how to do it without, I just did it that way so there was less chance of me scraping something against something that I wasn't supposed to as I was remembering how to do it because I just didn't want to damage the paint. So I'm very paranoid about it. So that's going to hurt MP toys for you know people I, like me. But I mean, I think more, the thing is, is like, like no one's going to notice that there's paint blemishes except for us. Like that's the yeah, thing oh, is, definitely. is like if there's literally like someone comes over to your house and looks at your masterpiece display, like it's not like that they're gonna be like, oh my god, like look at that, you know, slight paint chip on, you know, whatever. Like it's just one of those things that, you know, if if that bothers you, I mean, anything that's gonna be anything that's painted has that that possibility. But I I think in general, like like the MB pluses is almost like what 
I would kind of want the masterpiece line to be to where it's still fun to transform, but like the paint on them looks amazing. And I, I think at this point, like this, this one is the only MP plus that I have not gotten. I think I've gotten all the other ones. And I mean like the, like the wheel jack just looks incredible and the prowl looks really nice. Like I think the side swipe is, you know, like not that huge of an upgrade, but um, I mean, just the, the paint that they have on these is just, just amazing. And I, I do think that it, for the price that you pay, like, I think that it, this is a really nice package. Okay. Yeah. I think it's, I mean, it's pretty good for sure. The, the plus stuff is cool. Like, honestly, for a lot of them. Here's the thing. I never actually owned any version of the smokescreen before, so I, I kind of feel like losing the sticker deco looking things is kind of a loss to me, just because I think they're kind of fun. But he totally works like this. Like, he looks good. He looks fluid. He looks like he should. He looks like he would in the cartoon. So it totally works like this. So it's, it's a happy thing for that reason. But I think some people would probably rather have the decos on it. Like, I imagine. And those people just won't buy this. You know, it's no big deal um, one way or the other. So, you know, overall, again, this is still, you know, it's the same MP Prowl and Friends mold that you've had before. So it's got good articulation, but not quite as good as it would if it was made today. Um, it's still very good articulation. It's got um, a nice, easy transformation. Ha ha. And by that, I mean relatively easy. It's got opening hands, you can put his accessories in it, all that good stuff. It's the same as it's always been. I think he probably originally came with the same gun accessory. It's the same one I have as okay. Prowl. Yep. So it's yep. it's fine. It's a gun accessory. It is all painted, except for the handle. So, handle with care, of course. And it's still a fine little gun. It does what it's supposed to. And, um, yeah, he works well like this. Like, he's a nice display piece. I actually never um, had him before, so I never had the swinging out gun shoulder thingies. You know, these guys over by his head, his shoulder cannons. Well, and I think those shoulder cannons, uh, were those exclusive to certain places? I can't, or did they come with all versions of the original world? What's that? They're built in. Smokescreen always. He did come with them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're built the into the inside. The Prowl and Blue Streak were uh, exclusive to places. Okay. Yeah. So I have those. Um, are they the same as mine? mine I think so, cool. yeah. Yeah, from and what I've seen. Um, I don't know if these actually would come off safely. I don't think so. Oh, they're different. They are. Mine so they're attached little... to this this little armature right here. Oh, okay. So, yeah, this has a... Like, this armature here folds up into his back entirely when you car him. Huh. Yep, so mine are bigger, I guess, then. Yeah, they are. And it's got these um, little hinges and everything. Good. Yours look better. I mean, I never liked how these sit just a little bit off the hood because they're not quite molded to the same angle. These sit just a little bit off the hood. No. Oh. <laughs> they do. They do. They're very similar to Hound's head, where it's like, it's, it's, as long as you don't look at it from the wrong angle, it looks flush. But then when you look at it from the wrong angle, you can't unsee it. And you're like, oh, no, it's not flush. They're flying shoulder guns. There's a flying head. Eh, whatever. It's one concession on the whole figure. Otherwise, you know, he looks good. He stands good, contrary to the fact that I flipped him at the beginning of the show. Sorry about that. But he um, he actually does stand just fine. He poses okay. He doesn't have as much ankle articulation as a lot of, like, modern stuff does, but he still has enough ankle articulation. It's fine. He's really good. Um... So I guess like the, the new things to talk about with him is he does come with two accessories that he didn't come with before. One of those, of course, being the smoke cloud, which I think has been um, very persuasive for some people because it is a neat looking effect. Um, really close up, it doesn't look so cool because it is obviously just a kind of like smoky clear plastic, but like in a display, in pictures and all that stuff, it looks really nice. 
Um, but best I can tell, you know, I haven't completely exhausted it, but the only ports on it are the two little peg holes in the bottom. And otherwise, you know, you just kind of sit it beside him. So, you know, like I shoved it in his neck earlier for the picture, but you would mostly just put it, you know, kind of behind one of his feet. So it's coming out or behind him in car mode or wherever you want to put it um, at the time. The, the way it looks like there's two in all the photos is that it splits in half. And then you put it like that and it's coming out from two different directions. So it isn't actually two clouds because when I opened it, I was like, where's my second cloud? This is bull crap. But it's actually just splits in two. And it is now two clouds going out of the direction. Again, it looks great in a display as far as, you know, actually looking great close up. It's 2D art as a 3D object. So, you know, your appreciation of it may vary. Depending on that, um, depending on how you like that sort of thing. So, yeah, the cloud is cool. It looks good. It's got, you know, good effects on it. But the thing that made me want to buy the figure personally, and this was, of course, you know, announced before, gosh, it was before the um, the new um, retail figure that has a similar head, um, is this face. This face made me really excited because his old face was rather plain. Like, it was okay, but it's just kind of a regular... Um, robot face. You can hold up yours too, Christian. Yeah, I'm going to take the shoulder guns away so that you can see it better. Oh yeah, there'd be less shadowing if I took this away. So this is the original face. Yeah, so they can, they can shop the pair together. It looks like your horns are shorter, your chin is longer, and the colors are darker. It's got that Jay Leno chin. Yeah, so he has a huge chin. He has um, a lot of character behind it. I like it because, I'll be honest with you, I really don't remember, like, what Smokescreen was like in the cartoon at this point in my life, like, as far as his personality. But I really do like it when my clone characters have something to give them distinct personalities, when the guys who share molds have something that gives them a personality. And he has, you know, a goofy face and a yelling face. They both kind of convey the same person behind it that I really like. Um, having now, that I both think are, you know, way better than any original face he could have had. He's got the longer chin, he's got the boxier head, it just comes out really good. And that's something that, like, it's keeping me buying him keys right now. Like, Hound tortures me. His very existence tortures me because of how difficult he is to transform. But dang it, his face is so good. And he comes with an alternate face that is even more fun because he's making a goofy face. He looks like some sort of secret murderer in the corner. He's fantastic. He's a great toy for my display, but man, if he isn't on fun to transform. So yeah, that's like my big testimonial for these things is I keep buying MP figures because they have cool faces. Might be a problem. Maybe I could buy like add-on heads for later instead. <coughs> But yeah, those are really the differences. That's really all that's going on with him. Otherwise, it's the same figure again. And, you know, if you liked it before, you'll like it. Most people I've talked to are getting this one and selling their old one. Like, I don't really hear that many people keeping both. It's hard to... Um, I think it probably depends on the, the collector. There's still a lot that have to have them all. Completionist, yes. The completionist is going to keep both. Everybody else probably just wants one for their display and they're happy. That's all I need. Something that bothered me about the original release, and I'm going to show it here just in case it's different from yours because I can't super tell. Uh, I never liked the boxy extra bit on the chest that he has from the other Datsuns in addition to the altered arm transformation where he has the tires on top instead of the back. Those two things together make him look like really thick up top, and I don't think that's a good look. I've, I've never liked it. I think he's the, same. the molding is still the same, but is it blended together better with paint? Mm. 
No. <laughs> Not really. Not really. It just seems like the you know the, the splitter it's called splitter is uh it's just too big and it's accurate in vehicle mode. It does very well in vehicle mode, but for robot mode, it's just like there. I could really do without those hollow holes on the front on the like, front bumper. It would be really nice not to have those hollow holes there, but eh, it's all right. There to allow air into the engine. Okay. That's fair. It's, it's, a, it's a race car thing. Yeah, did they change the chest? Like, is the chest slightly different, or is it the same? It looks like it's the same mold to me. There it is. I think it's the same. I think it's the same. Yeah, I think so. We were very corny. We pulled that back at the same time. Look at us. Like we've yeah. done this for a year and a half. So, so one thing that it slightly annoys me about this mold in general is I, I feel like it has not held up great over time. And I don't know how your figures have been, have held up, Anna. But like mine, like, you know, one of the legs is loose. Um, the, you know, it's just like a little bit like the knees kind of loose and, and all that type of thing. I don't know. I know that you met, like to mess with your figures a lot. So I do. Have, have yours, like has your prowl mold held up pretty well or? So like, like I said, I mostly played with and transformed my old silver streak who I used up and then sold. Um, so I didn't really play with the prowl as much. He is pretty, he's pretty solid still. You know, he's not, he's not floppy really. Um, I do play with them, but not as much as I play with Silver Streak. Um, so I haven't really had that problem with them. The one thing I am noticing is little bits of the um, the metal and plastic on them do seem to be discoloring. Um, oh, and that's on the a bummer. White. You know, he's getting yeah. older. He's not a, he's not a spring chicken not, toy anymore. Yeah. But uh, it's a bummer when your white toys start to, start to discolor because you just know it's going to keep getting worse over the years. So, you know, that's a and, little bit of a bummer. Think the other thing to mention just in general in this mold is is it's, uh, I mean, there there is a fair amount, you know, I know that they're, they're less hollow than, you know, the mainline figures, but, I mean, there is still a fair amount of hollow. Like, you can see this is, like, the side here. Like, the back of it has, you know, it's just kind of hanging out, some holes there. So, um, you know, that is, I, I still think, I mean, this is obviously the best, uh, you know, version of the Datsuns that we've, we've gotten, um, you know, it's still a really good mold and fun mold. I, I would be curious to see like, if they do decide to redo this, you know, um, how it would look and, and whether or not they would decide to fill those in or if they would just, you know, try to go towards better articulation. Yeah, I I don't want to see it because it's like it's fun as it is. But I just I look at my um, Sunstreaker, and I want to play with my Sunstreaker so bad. He's such a cool looking figure. He's got so much like character and oh, yeah. goodness, and he's so pretty. But I just I'm never gonna transform him again. He's a robot, and that's how he's gonna stay. Because if I transform him, I'm gonna get frustrated. A and B, I'm gonna scratch the paint. And then he's going to look worse as a just yellow car with paint scratches. See, I don't know. I never really had that issue with Sunstreaker. I thought it was really fun. Like, I thought it was complex. But I, f I feel like that the figure fa feels very solid and and nice. But I think that part of my thing is is that before that, I had Bad Cube Sun Surge, which is somewhat oh. of a nightmare. <laughs> it is definitely not as good of a toy as the masterpiece uh, Sunstreaker. And so I think that in, by comparison, you know, I was like, well, this is cake, uh, you know, kind of thing. So I do agree with you, like on Hound, like Hound, there's just some bits on him where you're, it scares the bejesus out of me to, uh, you know, when I was trying to transform yours and I just kind of gave up halfway through just because <laughs> it's like, I don't want to have to break this and be on the hook for however much this thing cost. 
yeah, yeah. No, it's really nice to go back to the old way of them not feeling that fragile and not feeling that breakable. The paint is still a risk, but I just, I miss this. I really miss this in my MP figures. I really like the, um, the simplicity and the fun of it. I think that the other thing to note is is that we are actually getting yet another sun or not sunstreaker um, smoke screen. Yeah. We're getting another smoke screen coming out in is it September? Is that right? Probably. Is it wave wave two wave three? It's, it's of, wave two of Earthrise. When, whenever that Earthrise. is, and so they actually, it's a mainline version of this. Uh, you know, kind of like it's going to be more hollow. And all that, and and uh, you know we don't know how it looks in hand yet, um, but that's one thing that if you don't want to spend eighty dollars on you know this this figure, um, if you're not in that game, you can at least get something that you know looks somewhat similar. Like it's not going to be as good. It's not going to have same level of paint and all that. But it does have a face. And what's unusual about that release coming up is that it uses more cartoony colors than Hasbro has ever used on a smoke screen toy. Ever. It's really weird that they'd be doing that, you know, after all this time. I'm happy for it. It's just out of character. I would I was love so to see them close to canceling this when that got announced. Like it was so <laughs> close. I really wanted to and I was like, no, you really want that chin. You should get it. And I'm glad. I'm glad I got the chin. I have three of it now. It's nice. But I think if you like this mold, and again, like, you know, this is, it's $80, but it's still, I mean, the new Masterpiece cars are like, what, $120. So, I mean, I think it's still a, a pretty good value, and it comes with extra accessories and faces and all that. Yeah, I think it's fine for the price. Like, it's, I think Hound's probably going to still run you like 130 wasn't he, somewhere around there? And, you know, this is... This is definitely more than proportionate to that. You know, it costs a little bit less, and I guess it's, you know, not as fancy and new. But I really think that, you know, when you're paying that much for a figure and you want a premium figure, you're not going to feel disappointed with this guy, for sure. So, the question is, Anna, when Earthrise Sunstreaker comes out, are you going to get that? I don't like it. Why don't... Why don't you like it? I don't like it. It's very hollow. Uh uh. I don't like Earthrise Sun Streaker. It looks very hollow. It doesn't look good to me. Okay. Sorry. I'll criticize it more when it comes out. Don't worry. On the show. Alright. Be on the edge of your seat. It'll be amazing. No, I just, I don't buy all the main line. I just buy the things I like. Like, this is the first MP Plus figure I bought. And so far, it's going to be the last. I have no interest in any of the others. I'm just a, I'm a picky. I like it. It's not like, it's not like I got in and said, ew, this is dumb. I'm not going to buy any more MP Plus figures. It's just I got in and said, oh, I don't need the other ones because they don't appeal to me. But this one does because it has a crazy chin. To me, I, if I were to rate the MP Plus figures that have come out so far, like, at least with the cars, um, I still think Wheeljack is potentially the top one. Um, I think that this one is look to me with the face and the the effects. I would probably rate this one above Prowl, um, but I, I like the Prowl one as well. Um, I think that's also good, just because of the blue windows. Um, you know, I think that looks nice. Don't discount Blue Streak either. I mean, the plus of that hand oh, is incredible. I forgot about Blue Streak. Sorry about See, that. I only have two pluses. It's Wheeljack and Blue Street. And it's, they're both just amazing figures. Smokescreen, when I first saw the images, didn't make me gasp and say, oh, that's so much better, like Blue Streak and Wheeljack did. Wheeljack was different. Blue Streak was better. Um, you know, I've, I've had my own Smokescreen, you know, the original MP Smokescreen, since it came out. And I'm... It's always been my least favorite of the Datsuns, even though he's my favorite character of the Datsuns. Ah. Uh, the, uh, the plus one isn't like, oh, it's so much better, I've got to upgrade now, or like with Wheeljack, I have to have them both to do different things. And I, I don't think I've been convinced either way to 
night of those colors do look nice but they're still not quite right for me because i'm super <laughs> picky about smokescreen colors because i really like them that's good though like i i literally got it see as a cool chin it's good to know what you like <laughs> I like good face sculpts on my Transformers. That's like good. one thing that kind of bummed me out when I really started heavily collecting you know, I'm third party for a while. Is that I came in at a time when third party heads were lagging behind mainline heads, and it was bumming me out. And now I feel like you know everyone's kind of caught up that most toys are getting good heads, but um, that makes me a lot happier with these figures. But the multiple, like I was going to say, like one th one way to convince me that a figure is premium is multiple hands, and another way is multiple faces. If a, a figure comes with hands and faces, I think it's a premium figure suddenly. And that's just from years of collecting Figma and being like, oh, how do I justify this tiny $60 anime girl? She's got a lot of faces. I'd rather have one really good face and keep it you all just down. like the multiple but, faces? But, oh man, I love the multiple faces. When I quit MP, I realized I, I, I had to do it because I collect toys. And when MP stopped being toys and started being like super high-end mega collector figures, I was like, yeah, I'm going to have to be out because I like the fun of the toys without the chore of transforming them. Like, I like transforming, but I like it to be easy, like these MPs. Uh, Sunstreaker is a chore to me. All the third-party ones I have were a chore, um, particularly uh, Bad Q Brawn. I don't know, they took forever. It's like it's a mini, but it shouldn't take an hour for me to transform those. So I'm happy with my choice. I'm happy with keeping what I have. I'm done with MP. That smoke yeah. looks really good. I like the effect. You should get it, but I don't feel the need to upgrade. You know, um... I, I'm the same way as you that I want one really nice face and that's it. I'm never going to change the faces out. Like, it's just, I'm going to pick one face. So if you give me four of them, I will pick one and that one is what, what it will be. And the same thing with like all of the extra crap that comes with. Like, most of it's just going to go in a box. Like, I do think it's nice on some of the figures where they actually give you storage for it. Um, you can have that. But, like, the, you know, the stuff where it comes, like, the extra accessories and stuff, most of the time I don't care. Like, I do think that smoke cloud does look cool. I probably would display that with, you know, with the figure. And um, it's big enough I wouldn't have to worry about losing it. Um, but, um, yeah. So. I don't think he can hold it as a club. <laughs> no, he can't. That would be nice would if he could. Be yeah. Well, that's the um, uh, the Cyberverse Grimlock. I usually have him holding his fire from his dinosaur mode as a club. So Ron in the chat asked a good question. Do you think that they will do this in barricade colors, like when they did the Siege... Uh, barricade, and if they did that, would you buy it? No and no? No and yes. Why would you not buy it? Like, you, Anna, you of all people are like the crazy, like, collector. You want the weirdo repaint, yet somehow you're like, this is where I'm drawing the line. I have that version of Barricade. I have him as a, as a siege figure. I'd have to go through the trouble of selling that thing. And get in this thing, and then I'd have three of this mold. What kind of person do you think I am? No, I don't think they'll make it. But if they did, heck yeah, I'd buy it. I don't think they're interested in making new characters out of old molds these days. I just don't think that's where they're going. I don't think that's what they're looking at. I think that's why we haven't had more cassettes in the past eight years. You're probably right. No, I, I think that I think it would be cool. I think it would look neat if they made one. I think they would do a good job with it. But I also think that, you know, there's already two cheaper ways to get that. There's already the Siege figure, and there's the New Age repaint of their world. And both of those are good toys, objectively. Um, 
The new age figure's fine. Technically, there's a masterpiece barricade already. <laughs> well, yes, but it's not this. R- it's actually a barricade. Right. Although, to be fair, barricade in this form is, or at least was in the comics, where I am. So he exists now. I am. In this form as a person. So, I mean, I guess there might be a market for an MP. Probably not enough of one for them to do it. All right, yeah, well, cool. do we have any other, any other final thoughts before we wrap up? I like it. I think it's cool. I think that the main selling point on it is the face sculpt. And if you're not into face sculpts, like if you're cool with the one that you have, it's probably not worth pursuing. Unless for some reason, these colors in this deco look better to you. Otherwise, you know, it just took this face for me to want to buy it in P smoke screen. But that's the only reason I have him. They're not because I upgraded him because I never had the original. I just got him because once he had this face, I wanted this mold again as a red and blue guy. Other thoughts? Other than pow, 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 pow. T- Tony apparently uh, just showed up, so again we go at the very very end. We... Oh, it's we all disagree with Anna. That's what you always like to say, but really, it's just because I have better taste. I don't know. When everybody but disagrees awesome. with you, you're like, surely it's not me. Oh, is everyone disagreeing about Barricade? Yeah. No. Because Ron was saying how cool it'd look. Uh, Nick in the chat also says he would love that as well. So there we are. And we said it. So pretty much it's, you know, I don't know. Yes, but sample size of two. Woo! Four. I'm persuaded. He don't count. Um, <laughs> is, <laughs> is that not statistically significant, Anna? I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> I think study. I need to see further statistics on this. In order um, to be persuaded. Like, any statistics. Yeah. Um, so, no Ouch My Wallet tomorrow night. Um, we're uh, taking the week off. Uh, but uh, there will be... There should be a cut the tape this week. Um, i trying to think. Uh, check out TF Talk News as well. Uh, that went up a couple nights ago. And then the uh, TF LP, uh last night on YouTube. Um, and then next week, are we back to Seacons? Yes. Do we want to go back? Do we want to actually say what we're going to do next week again? We did that last time, and it was weird and a little bit like Parallel Universe. I'm okay with it, though. Well, we have Sea Wing would be next in line for us. I think so. Okay. There we go. Do the Sea Wing. That's what's happening. Cool. Or we could break it up and do the tapes and not tapes next week. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the tapes. Well, those are our options. Or we could do those the week after. Because I'll have the tapes and not tapes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Give us a shot. Tell us which one you want to talk about. Yeah, let's yeah. know what cool. you guys would rather see next week. Sea Wing or the cassette Spy Mission Volume 3. I think that's what it's called. Something like that, right? Spy Patrol. Whatever. Whatever they are. Oh, man. The Triton's breaking. Yeah. Oh, boo. What is breaking? Apparently, Ron said that uh, there's the Trident for um, Piranicon is is breaking. Boo. Super boo. Is it breaking because people are being heavy-handed with it, or is it breaking because it's bad? I don't know. We'll have to find out. I guess. I guess we'll have to see. Um, so. So far, we have one vote for Seaween. By the way, Rodim is from the Discord. <laughs> nice. Thanks, Rodim. <laughs> he I probably is like, just first. get over, get these Seacons over. We're like halfway done with those, to- right? If you want us to get the Seacons over with, let us know that, too. Yeah. Yeah, we could go faster on them. We could do we could multiple in a week. Yeah, I guess we or could. Or we could keep we could slowly pumping out one at a time. 
We got three more. Right? Yep. Yeah. I think so. I think we've done three. It's the halfway mm. point of Sea King or whatever he's called. So uh, apparently, uh, with, with Hasbro, they're person. having so many so many issues with the with the pigs or whatever. I guess that the the issue is the pigs too too big. Um, is, is that one of the tools in our, in our toolkit we're going to have to use now? Is is like a piece of sandpaper or something like that, or a nail file to to file down uh, pieces of pegs so that it doesn't break? You guys don't do that already? No. No. All right, well. We claim to be normal. Sorry. And also, in case anyone didn't hear me, Christian, talking in the background, I do know Thronicon's name. I was thinking a Pokemon joke. Thank you very much, Christian. I love that Pokemon joke. I'm glad. That's why I laughed at it. It was great. This is a big, dumb fish. That would be great. Kind of what what the combiner is. Not very smart. It's not a very great combiner, no. That's not what All I right, said. All right, everyone. We should probably All right, we should probably wrap get off up. here before we go too far off topic. So it is thank you. Sure we go off topic and we're done. Thank you to everyone in the yeah, chat. Yeah. Um, thanks, Ron. Thanks, Tony. Nick. Uh, Paul, if you're still watching, um, thank you to everyone Rodimus for the participating. Rodimus in the Discord. So, thanks, guys. Thanks. Have a lovely night.